Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to announce that VoiceOver is finally back. After all this cuff season and coronavirus, now we are able to make this VoiceOver. Keep watching for more content like this. Okay, what do we have today? First, we have this background here. I cut this grass from this picture and put it here and rename it out. Then I put this sky and then I added those elements one by one. Of course, I used the bend tool to cut the elements that need it, like this girl here and this one also here. This was the original picture. And also I added some trees, everything in a separate uh, document to be able to edit it later. And also I added some trees and raven here and there. So this is our final composite. Now we will make the chick layers. First of all, I will make a solid color adjustment layer with 50% gray and change it to color. And this will be my luminosity chick. This, we will check the values by this layer. Then I will give it a, a color, red or something. Then on top of this, I will make a selective color adjustment layer. And then I will remove the black from all the colors and add it to the neutrals, white and blacks. Like so. In those three, I will add. And I will make sure it is absolute, not relative. And this will be my saturation check. This is saturation check. Put it in a group and give it a color also like this. Then on top of this, I'll make another solid adjustment layer with 50% gray. But this time I'll make it luminosity. And on top of it, I'll make a huge saturation layer and bring the saturation all the way up. And then I'll put both of them in one group and rename it color check and also give it a red color. So now my check layers are ready. Now for the color matching process. We will make together one, two, three elements and the same procedures will be for the other items. First of all, I will go in the ground group. I will open the luminosity check. I don't think it needs any edits. Then for the saturation, I will add a new hue saturation layer and try to bring the saturation down to make them fit together. Then for the color, I will open the colors check layer and on top of this I will add a color adjustment, a color balance layer. I will add some magentas. Now see they fit much better than before, see before and after. The same thing I will do for all the items. Now for the old wall, first I will open the luminosity and then I will make a, an exposure layer. Tweak the exposure a little bit like so. Maybe some offset. Now for the saturation, it doesn't have any saturation. Now for the colors, obviously it needs to have some more magentas and reds. See, the chick layers make you see much better. Okay, now for the house layer, I will make the same. I will add in an exposure layer, reduce the exposure, and maybe add some offset. until it fits with the background. Now for the saturation. Make a huge saturation layer. Bring the saturation a bit down if needed. For the colors it needs just to touch with the color balance a touch towards the blues 
in the bitrate to bit magenta. And all of this is editable. We can tweak it later if we need it. Like in this case, I guess the magenta is too much. Now for the LED, the switch. Same thing, but this time I'll try curves adjustment layer and try to reduce the highlights. See before and after. Then the saturation, hue and saturation layer, clip it, reduce the saturation. Then for the colors. I'll add color balance layer, clip it, the same procedures, and tweak the colors like so. The same thing will be added for all the other items. I'll make the video faster and come back to you. Okay, now it's time for painting light. First, I will go under this layer and add a, a, some light source here with this color. I will add a fake light like this. Then I will put it in a group and make it overlay. So this is our main light source. Then I will make a solid adjustment layer with this color and invert it to black and I will take this layer and put it inside all those groups. Copy, copy, copy like this. I will use all these copies for painting lights on all the objects. Then I will make a fog layer like so, this one here. With the white brush I will paint in the mask and make it normal and reduce the opacity a little bit just like so. So this is this will be my fog. Then inside all the items like two I will clip this layer and with the white brush selected I will try to paint light on the edges like so. but with a low flow first 
then I will make the brush bigger and reduce the flow like so. For adding the shadows inside this tree layer, I will make a copy of this same layer and then right click, on the, double click on the layer and add some dark color from the background like so. Then Ctrl T and try to tweak it in the opposite direction of the light like so. Try to reposition it. Then I will make a mask and with the soft brush selected I will try to remove some from the edges like so. This is before and this is after. For the other tree I will make exactly the same. Make a copy of the same layer. Double click on the layer. Add a color overlay. Then Ctrl T and try to tweak the shadow in the other direction, in the opposite direction of the light. Then with the brush selected, I will remove some parts from the mask. And of course this needs to be under the witch layer. The same thing with the witch.
Now, for adding magic layer, I will make a black layer and then make it a screen and then empty layer and clip it inside this layer and on top of this I will make a, a, a gradient map layer with the white on this side and gradients blue colors like so and this one will be color also clip it and make it color all the painting will be in the middle layer in the middle layer I'll try to paint with my brush a very low flow and then with the white color I will paint some light trades like so make the brush sometimes bigger sometimes smaller to make a differentiation for the light beams or smoke or whatever you can call it then I'll make another empty layer with the white brush selected white color selected I will try to add some debris like so some particles debris you can put it with brush you can put it with stock image anything you want I tried to add some blue ones but it didn't work perfectly so I removed them put this on a group and call it debris and I will put the color of magic layer under the girl layer on top of the girl layer I will add some blue color invert the mask and with the brush selected soft brush selected with a very low flow I will try to paint some blue lights on her body on the edges like so change the blending mode to color dodge and with the white color selected in an empty layer I'll add some glow behind here like so maybe I can reduce the opacity just a bit For finalizing the image, on top of everything, I will add a curves adjustment layer and in the blue channel, I will try to add some blues to the shadows like so try to see before and after try to make it in a reasonable area then, on top of this, I will add a crisp warm color lookup but reduce the, its intense intensity Then I'll make Control Alt Shift E to make a screenshot of everything and inside the camera raw filter I will tweak like so add some warmth some exposure highlights and shadows just tiny touches of course adding some vignetting and also a little bit of grey see before and after and then I will make another screenshot convert to smart object and then go to filter Gaussian blur and blur all the image then make a mask and with the black color selected I will remove the mask from the middle to make only the edges blurry like so to make the main focus inside the image it's 
So this is before everything and this is after. That's what we've done today. Okay, that's it for today. See you next time.